Hello everybody, this is Dizzy Dragon, and I'm welcoming you back to the next part of Let's Play the Jorah's Mask, Epic Run. And we have one more thing that we want to do before we head post office, that's phenomenal. One more thing we want to do before we head to Woodfall and get this game rolling. Um, there's one more heart piece that we can pick up, we're heading straight to the uh, post office. There's a little mini game you can play. Let's check out the schedule first. Check this week's schedule, morning collection, afternoon delivery, evening practice. The week's motto, don't slack off, the heavens and the wife are watching. Mail, Mayor Dotor. And we'll meet him later, but we'll meet, we might just not end this episode. Alright, so we got the postman, who was in Ocarina of Time, but a very, very small role. Um, a little bit of a bigger role here, alright? You want to make sure you have the bunny hood equipped it here. Not really sure why, but let's just talk to him anyway. Four, five, six. Wow, those ears. They're furry. <laughs> They're fake. You startled me. Don't disrupt my training. In my mind, I am running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at the clock. I was in the middle of mental training. I really don't know how that helps a postman, but whatever. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Yes. I press A to start. Oh no! I ex double clicked A! Dang. I blame that on years of playing video games and mashing A constantly. But yeah, if you have the bunny hood on, the counter stays up. So it makes it a lot easier. 9, 10. The time was 10, 11. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, I was so close. Let's try one more time. Woo! Your time was 10 seconds. Huh? 10 seconds? That is amazing. Your reflexes are suitable for a postman. Oh, thanks for showing me something impressive. I give you this. Here we got a harpies. Two more, and we'll have a full container. Awesome. I can't be, be like this. I must trade more, more, more. Show off your wild instincts. We got a heart piece. Postman was added to your notebook. That's pretty cool. Um, one little hint that you know to wear the bunny hood is if you run out here and you look up there, there's a bunny up there. So that's the only really hint that that's why that works. So I, that's the only explanation I can give. Anyway, now I'm going to play the Song of Time, go back to day one, and then I'm going to uh, go to where I was caught up in Woodfall. So I'm going to do the witch and uh, give her the potion, and then I'll meet you guys back in Woodfall. So I'll see you guys there. Alright everybody, we're back, and I'm just about to give this old hag some red potion. I actually didn't run through this twice to get the red potion, I just picked up 20 rubies and bought a red potion, so I wouldn't have to run through the forest twice, because even though it probably would have been around roughly the same time, I just didn't feel like having to go through the forest twice. So she's drank my red potion, and pooh, rat red blood. Ah, feel the energy flow. Kumi has revived. And summon a broom! And there she goes. You saved me. I'm the swamp tour guide. I run the boat cruise. Come get a free ride. And she takes off, and we're free to go. Ugh, make sure you always go through the exit with the sign, and don't be like a fail like I did last time where I couldn't escape from the forest. I just kept on going through the same. I kept. I pretty much. Even though, like, there's a 1 in 4 chance of not leaving the forest. I uh, picked the right one every single time and couldn't escape. Alright, so if you actually just follow these monkeys like this, they'll actually just disappear like that. See? They don't run anywhere, they just disappear after a while. Put on our little dick mask again so we can skip over the water because it's just faster than swimming. And we're going right back to this boat tour guy. Uh, we don't need to tell Kotaik that we saved your sister or anything. It is, it's not important. I don't even know if she says anything. You can see a heart piece up there, but we're not getting that till much later, so don't worry about it. Like, much, much later. Alright, there she is. Oh, thanks for what you did back there. I had special deal for the day. Um, free boat cruise. Awesome. Ah, uh, yes, a special thing is going on right now. We're giving this away for free. Camera! You got a pictograph box. And you can take pictures, and it pretty much only has, like, two uses in the entire game. Um, Alright, we're on the boat cruise. Set your pictograph to C, which is not on this <laughs> joystick. Alright. Um, what 
uh, the pictograph box is for immediately anyway. That one guy is having a picture contest. Now, there's only two photos that you can get in the entire game that will win the contest. One is of his son, who is actually Tingle, and we might get to that later. And the other one is of the Deku King, who we'll see in a little bit. Um, the reason why we have to take the boat cruise is because there's no other way to get back, to get past that giant octo rock that was like in Jabba Jabba's belly. And they re put it right there. Alright, so the boat kills it, so that's pretty awesome. But as you can see, the boat is floating in purple water, so that's very, very dangerous. It's actually very easy to die in that water. Oh, I see a lot of people. Oh, man, I thought I hit the wrong button there. I see a lot of people actually die in that purple water and they get their first death in their LPs there. This is the Deku Palace. I love the music in this place, it's just amazing. Alright, um, these guys won't let us in because, you know, humans are so racist towards Dekus, they're not gonna let a human in. This is the palace for the Deku Kingdom, the only official business to enter, but you can see the humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow the straight ahead and go to the chamber. You're not allowed to go off to the sides right there. You're just not allowed to do it, so don't even think about it. Alright, there is the king right here. And let's see what he has to say. He's very angry. I haven't seen the face before. Are you visiting? Usually I don't allow the likes of you in the Royal Chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku Princess. Ha, ah, he has insulted our royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up to no good, and he's now in a cage. Take a good look at his face. So he's very angry. Oh my gosh, look at those three very weird leaves right in there. I wonder... Never mind. Alright, there's the monkey over there. He's trapped. We can go talk to him, but we're not going to at the moment. Uh-oh. Should not take off the mask. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, we're alright, I'll meet you guys back in that chamber. I gotta do something really quickly in that chamber. Before we leave anyway. Oh. We got a stupid monkey guard in our way again. Was my brother alright? Did you see the entrance in the cage? There is a secret route we know, or on to the side, which I already know already, but... Stop talking to me! Yes, I understand! You're like the owl! Understand my meaning? Yes, get out of my way! Alright. No, quit to target it! Alright, what we need to do... Mucho and point... <laughs> I can't speak Spanish. I can almost speak Japanese. I have Rosetta Stone for Japanese. I'm trying to learn Japanese lately. Alright, snap a picture of his crotch. That's good enough. Man, we won't be just, uh, using that for later. Blah, blah, blah. What's their OR? I can actually. We're going to need our bottle there, too. Um, bottle very important soon. Uh, the secret entrance is actually out there, but before you can do that, you have to go over here. And this is very similar to the guard minigame in Ocarina of Time. Run across! Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh no! Oh, move, move, move! Quit being stuck on the wall! Oh no, we're in a very weird... Oh, we got really lucky! Red Ruby! I don't know what I'm going to use it on, but... Actually, I do know. Good thing I picked that up, actually. Very good thing I picked that up. Because you will be needing that very shortly. Oh, very close. Don't want to redo that again. Alright, come down and fall in this hole. I want to run up here. And yeah, this weird looking guy. Munch, 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 munch. Oh, well, chomp, chomp, chomp. I got a customer. Do you need some magic beans? The sprout leaves for you. Water them, and they make magic plants. Blah, blah, blah. It gives you magic beans. He's one of two magic bean salesmen in the game. And you can buy another one for him for cheap. 
Alright, so you want to get two beans because there's actually a place you can plant one of them right here. Which is just cool to be able to plant. And it's weird that there are some, there's one guy who will only sell magic beans to Deku. Even though Deku can't actually use the magic beans. So I just think that's funny. Got yeah, it. Pop out the human. Human squats down. Dump some water on that. And kabam. It grows. Make sure you pick up more water. Because the next nearest water place is all the way back where you got the potions. And the old hag's little spring. That's the next nearest place to get spring water. And you don't want it to run all the way back there, do you? And there's a red ruby. That's pretty nice. We don't really need it, but <laughs> I just think it's fun to pick it up. Alright, um, might as well get caught because we didn't go to the outside anyway. And there we go. Oh, we got an intruder. He ran and jumped right in front of our face. Alright, we don't need to go over there yet. We need to go over here. Ignore that little exit right there, too. We'll be Actually, we won't be going out there, but you're supposed to go out there later. I'm going to show you guys a cooler way to do that, though, whenever we get to it. Little bunny hops. We can make it. We can make it. There we go. Alright, um... <laughs> Thank you. And let's plant our seeds. I really like the fact that you can just dump water on it and it works. Now there's a certain song that you get later on in the game that you can just sing the song, or not sing the song, play the song, and it'll work for you. But no spoilers, not gonna tell you what it is, even though you already know what it is. If you, if there's someone in the uh, out there who's watching this who doesn't know what song you play to make those uh, sprout bigger, please leave a comment that there is. Now, I'm pretty sure no, everyone knows. As I, I, I want to know. I want to see what percentage of uh, my audience has actually never played Majora's Mask. So if you haven't played Majora's Mask before, this is totally new to you. Make sure you leave it in the comments. Or something. Oh, there we go. And we're going to hop. Oh, that was close. Thank you, minigame all over again. And wait for a second. I don't understand. That guy right there can see us, but he doesn't get to just automatically kick us out like all the other ones do. Alright. Oh, I forgot to get grab something. I'm grabbing a little bit. Oh. I might just go down. I need to kill that guy first. Make sure you wait, because his, uh, Deku nuts can destroy the bubble. There we go. And we're gonna want to go straight to where his flower was. Make sure you always use your shadow of the Deku to uh, see where you're going to land. A little pro strat right there that I probably should have used more in uh, the Deku flower minigame. Man, that Deku flower minigame was a nightmare. There's only one really more, uh, another minigame that I'm really not looking forward to. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! I oh! oh well. You know what, I need to grab something over here anyway. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what's over here. This is if you go take the other entrance, as opposed to the one I showed you earlier. You can get something cool over here. And after I get it, I'll just edit to me being, uh, back up there. I know a few of you are probably wondering why I scream editing whenever I edit. Um, if you are curious, then go check out my Conqueror's Bad Fur Day videos. That's where that originated. Oh, I'm gonna run for it. And we got a heart container. Or piece, whatever. Alright, I'll meet you back up on that flower over there. Yeah. 
And we are back on the flower. Oh, no, no, flower next flower, get it, get it, get it! Oh. Thank you, unneeded risk. I like to take big risks for big rewards because then it shortens the lengths of the videos. It makes you guys not have to watch me just sitting around, which no one likes to see that. And fly right on through here. <laughs> 